Okay, so we're going to walk down the line here. There's actually three people working, sort of, kind of. Eddie in line, and I'm working on the next one. And Daryl snuck off to the bathroom. He said he don't want to be on camera, so if we prolong this long enough, maybe he'll be back. So you're tidied up pretty good inside. Getting there, yeah. This is Joe's awesome yep. 34 Pro Street. Uh, what we've been doing here, not we, what you've been doing. Well, tell us what you've been doing. We've been chasing wires. Mostly. Chasing wires. You chased most of them outside the car now, it looks like. Yeah. You got coil packs on, you got all that going on. Yeah. So you were messing with the oil earlier, weren't you? Yeah, the uh, oil sending unit had to come off with an outlet on the cam in the rear. It's about the only place we could go. And it's too close to the firewall. It's so using that engine torque to so break fit it off. Then. It didn't yeah. fit. So I, I, had can't, I can't imagine why it wouldn't fit. <laughs> well, you know, uh, so you turn the stuff in a, a two-pound package. Yeah, know? so we got them all, all <laughs> yeah. stuffed in. Got, got it all fixed now. But I had to get, uh, well, it was coming off on a 45 that was running right up into the firewall. So I found a 90-degree a one and was able to bring it away from it. And I can get my hand in between it and the firewall now. So it's good to go. So this is uh, original manufacturer's equipment here? Oh, yeah? Um, yeah, uh, Briggs and Stratton. Briggs and Stratton. <laughs> but get, you're getting, I mean, it's pretty tight and clean. You're going on that side a little bit. Oh, yeah. See, it looks, it's clean. If you watch these videos from the beginning, I mean, there was wires every which way. Um, we were kind of debating where to put the buttons. And Eddie came up with this concoction here, and it looks really clean. Uh, the shifter's already been raised because it was just way too low on the floor. Wires inside of here. What's laying down is, and we've talked about labeling. So if you label your wires, and if you're going to walk away from it for a little while, do that so you don't forget what you got going on. Um, I'm sure he knows what this is. I have no clue. Probably a, I don't know, AC wire or something like that for heat. We're, next, we're kind of working on windows. Looks like you got all the wires up here for the. Uh -huh. for, oh, the, yeah, for the windshield wiper and what's the other wires up here? Is that for the that's for the light? The, for your overdrive light, okay. on or off is what these will be. And then there'll be a red one and a green one. And we don't get a radio, nothing like that. Uh, -uh no. This is pretty schmazzy here. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, did I tell you we had a comment on yesterday's video? That's that. You know what I did? I asked him if he was a hillbilly, and he said, "Well, yeah." <laughs> and somebody commented, no, you're too smart to be, a, you're too smart and, and classy a guy and everything else. He's a Hill William. Yeah. How about a, how about a redneck, a redneck car builder? How's that? <laughs> yeah, but I, I had to tell a story about, uh, we hired a, a Jeremy one time, a young, a kid. Uh, actually, the way he got hired, he showed up and I barely even knew him and I was going on the road like the next day. Uh -huh. And Ann said, hey, what are you doing? You want to go on the road? So she basically, I'm standing there going, ah, and he shows up. I don't know why I even showed up. And she hired him to go on the road with me because I didn't have nobody go with me. Oh, yeah. So since we already had a Jeremy, his name was Jeremy, I call him Billy. I call him Billy the Kid. And then I told him if he ever grew up, he could be William. Yeah. <laughs> and I, you know whatever happened to Billy? I, don't, I lost track of Billy. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> he's I don't gone. know where he's at. He's been gone for years. Hopefully Billy's doing well. Was, was little Billy? <laughs> we're gonna, let's go. We're gonna, let's go to my car. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> You're out of here. Okay. So what do goats, King David, and my shield have to do with Mike's hood. Any idea? Can you blend these together? No? So in the morning, I milk goats. So that's my, my morning job. Is my, and you, you help uh, snappers behind the camera. So I make him come help me sometime on Saturday. What do you get to do? I get to do the fun stuff. Yeah. I get to clean out the stalls. Yes. Yay. He does. It's <laughs> awesome. Cleans the stalls. Got it going. And goats are cool. So I branding them all about branding and we make cheeses and all that stuff so we call it heritage bread farms so i needed to have a coat of arms because the english chester is the english name so I, I decided i'd make my own coat of arms so here's my coat of arms and i made it pretty cool so if i'm gonna make a shield 
I got to think of what kind of shield would I want. And David, when he was a kid, he was a shepherd. He took care of and that guy would, he killed a bear and a lion with his bare hands. Then he knocked out Goliath with a slingshot. But then when he got to be king, he was like, didn't just lead his army into battle. He would rush the enemy, rush into the enemy, and then his army would have to get into the enemy. I'll get to, I'll get to the, the time between these two in a second. Don't worry, don't worry. So he's in the middle of the enemy fighting away, and his army has to fight through the enemy to get to their king. So what kind of sword would David need? Or what kind of shield, I mean? I'm thinking, all right, if I'm gonna build a shield, I want a shield like David would use. So he had to fight 360, right? I mean, because if you're in the middle of the enemy, you got an enemy behind you, and you just don't want to defend yourself. You want to walk them. So this is pretty lightweight. You get wonked with this, man, I could go. So I built me a shield. Have my 11-year grandson, 7-year-old grandson, check it out. This is like a real shield. This is significant. I had him, I didn't use a sword, but he uh, had a big piece of steel. Okay. So he was doing that. So you know how I made this? You don't know? Mm -mm. The snapper shaking his head. Well, I had an English wheel. I cut my shape up. And you can see it's got, it's got a pitch to it. It's kind of cool. But I want to really structure up my edges. Because, you know, if you get hit on the side, I don't want to mess up my shield. I want it to be, be secure here. So, you know what I did? I welded around the whole edge. This is more than a quarter inch. Piece of rod. After I got the shape of my shield, I welded the rod. So, I got me and my shield. This is our Heritage Bread Farms, my coat of arms. This is our, uh, our logo now, sort of. I got the, the ghost and the, the, everything got my meaning in here. But, uh, so there you go. So if you're the king and you're gonna jump into the middle of the enemy, it's a good shield to have. But I can't wait till a king of kings shows up riding a white horse. Can you imagine that battle going on? That'll be fun. So here we are, here's how it ties into Mike's hood. Not quite as big, so when I put the edge of this steel that I've made, it's the shape of that drill shell, into this, and it's still early in the day. These guys are still here and you're still here, so I'm gonna be here later on working on this tonight <laughs> afterwards. But So I'll cut this out, weld this onto here, and it'll really give me something solid that I can hammer and dolly and work this around. And when I weld it onto this edge, you won't see, I mean, you can see on here, you're not seeing, you're not seeing any seam there, and that's welded solid. And then underneath, it looks pretty clean. I mean, you're, you're not seeing the weld here, really, because it's all welded on the backside. But, uh, I, Eddie, you know, I need some leather wrapped around here in case I need to go to war. He's not paying attention, but I may go and do this. Now that I brought it back down here, I may put some leather on the inside. Got my shield. Daryl done ditched. Are you gonna not gonna not gonna hang out here, huh? Not today. Not today. So Daryl's been working on this one. What's his name? Scott. 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 So this is Scott's car. This is old school. Daryl's been old school. He brought it in. He had that rear end under here, and it, it just was like it's old. Yeah, it converted from the closed drive shaft and everything, and had the big wheels, but it just wasn't working good for him. Uh, this was actually a spirit, it's a spirit body and a spirit frame from I don't know how long ago. But he brought it in, wanted us to go ahead and put an S10 rear end down it with the coilover shocks. So we did all that. Did the, did the brakes on it. We're going to put the, it's got a, an aluminum tank that will go back on here. It looks really cool. It's got the flathead board in it. I guess the, the gear ratio wasn't right in the back and it was just really revving out. And you don't want to rev out an old flathead. So that was Daryl's project. This one will be going home tomorrow. So we got all this space in here. See all this space? There's Daryl hanging out. There's Eddie. <laughs> There's me. And it, so all we need is three stalls here. You know, we don't need like hundred and something thousand square feet around here. Run, run, Daryl, run. The FBI shows up and takes me in custody. But it, it's kind of, it's kind of the... Uh, Update for the day. Oh, did you did you know? For your dedicated service, instead of a trip to Disney, I got something even better. 2025 in August, an all expense paid trip to Evansville, Indiana. The Frog Follies. Here I close with cash. 
I might, I might throw in some cash too, well, just so we can spend. The more spend. you throw, the more I'll be glad to go. Well, <laughs> just be truthful. <laughs> so it sounds like Daryl's in. Now, I said I would go anyway. He yeah. didn't have offer me cash. Well, see, you got to work it. You got to work it. <laughs> what it is. Well, we'll see. But I want to make a big event out of it. Jim would want to go. <laughs> Jim, Jim texted me with well, the the guy we've been negotiating with, the frog follies, and he watched a video yesterday. He said it didn't look too positive to get any there. <laughs> but they assured me that even though they, they control the, the concessions, that we can have our own food. So there, uh, Herschel's going. He's going to bring a smoker, so we got food. We're going to have our own little food thing, and we're going to do a spirit uh, reunion. It'll be our 30th year, our 30th anniversary. Nice. So we're going to invite people, and they're going to have a section for spirit owners to be there. and. It'll be fun. Three days, and they assured me that the hotel will have a waffle machine. That we were a little negotiating on that. It was iffy for a second, but waffle machine in the hotel. Well, uh, if there's a Waffle House close, that'll work. <laughs> I think the morning a couple in, yeah. in the middle of the night. So that's it for today. I'll, I'll actually work on Mike's or Mike's car tonight. To get some of this done. We tied in uh, my shield to the front end. I'm not sure that's why I had the idea to do it that way, but I think it's going to work. So that's it.